This is a huge political statement. I mean, he has put himself in serious legal jeopardy. I mean, he leaked what we call signals intelligence, and the government is almost mandated to go prosecute him. They will not let this go at all. They will, they will seek an extradition warrant uh, from China. Uh, they'll go after him wherever. This is not going to go away. He revealed what we call sources and methods, which somebody who's part of the government cannot do. It's a clear violation, a clear felony. Uh, I think he knew exactly what he was doing. I think he's probably gone to the Chinese and informed them of the interview and said he'd like to stay. If he didn't, uh, that was a huge mistake. So you think he's already gone to the Chinese. Do you think that plays into him choosing to be here in Hong Kong? Oh, I think absolutely. I, you know, frankly, uh, I'm not an expert on Chinese politics, but I think they're very angry about the hacking charges. It's been brought up for the last couple months. I think it's no coincidence that this interview was aired just as the Chinese premier was leaving the United States. I think the Chinese are very angry about this. Um, look, if, you, if you're going to make a political statement like this so strong and with such evidence, you either do it in Washington, D.C., on Capitol Hill, or at worst, you go to some place like Sweden or Iceland that isn't isn't in the game on this on this deal. I think we're going to hear a lot more about this as the weeks go on, and I think there's probably a lot more to it. So, you know, in Edward Snowden's interview, he says that he hopes that by revealing this information, it's going to change the debate on government intervention. Do you think that will happen? No, I think the United States is going to frame this. The administration is it's hurting our efforts on counterterrorism. It's going to get people killed. And I think that argument politically in the United States will prevail. I think this guy will not come out well. It doesn't matter, you know, what I think about it or you think about it or intrusion on American citizens. Americans are still traumatized by September 11th, and he will not come out of this as a hero. So then what do you think will happen to Edward Snowden? I think he'll eventually, they'll, they'll, they'll take his passport away and he will settle in China somewhere. Um, and that's where he's going to have to stay. He, he, can't be, he won't be able to travel. The United States will come after him. He will become political exile for a very long time. And, you know, there was one thing that he said in his, in, in his interview that really uh, stuck out to me. He said anyone who had the capability that he had could suck out the secrets and sell them on the open market. So he's a 29-year-old, you know, tech worker. How unusual is it that he would have access to these secrets? And how concerned should the American people be? Well, secrets like this, there's not much you can do about it in an open society. Yes, absolutely. He's right about this. He's right that, that he would have had access to this with his top secret security clearance. He would have seen a lot more documents. Uh, and there's not much you can do about it. People can walk out the door with them. And there's no way to monitor all the people with secret clearances. There's, there's no way to do it. I mean, uh, you know, it, we've seen this over the years. It's hard to stop, impossible to stop. And he's right.